Hello and welcome to HyperDog Digital. Today we're going to take a look at a battery case for the Galaxy S8 Plus. Uh, this is put out by uh, Rookie Direct, R U K Y Direct. Uh, you can buy this on Amazon for about $40. Uh, so here it is right here. Let's go ahead and open up, take a look. Uh, you can uh, open the front cover up to get a look at the case. Um, there it is right there. Obviously, you can't do much with it in there, so let's go ahead and yank this guy out. Let's come with a little pamphlet here that gives you some uh, some brief instructions. Um, not a whole lot there, but uh, there's not a whole lot to it either. So, and uh, as you can see here, this is a 5,500 milliamp battery, 5,500. Um, you can push, uh, there's a single button down here, which you can press and it will give you a, a specific color coding and tell you uh, how much battery is left in here. Uh, for instance, this one, uh, the blue there indicates that it is 50 to 75% charged. All right, so there's not a whole lot to the case. Uh, you have your USB type C port down here. Um, it actually is not all that heavy, not as heavy as I was expecting it to be, which is uh, which is a pleasant surprise. And it actually goes all around the phone. Uh, a lot of these that I've seen uh, will just uh, connect onto the sides and not have anything on the top, uh, or not have uh, you know very good side protection at all. So let's go ahead and uh, just fit this in here. My phone is actually not turned on at the moment, but so you slide it in to the bottom so you're locking into that uh, USB type C port and just push it on gets a little stuck over some of these buttons but there you go does seem to fit uh, very well um, it does uh, cover all the edges and top and bottom uh, your openings here are still available for uh, the USB Type-C, your speakers, and your headphone jack. I know these are pretty deep uh, for your headphone jack, anyway. So if you if you don't have something that's uh, uh, you know going to fit that size just perfect, uh, you're probably not going to be able to fit that uh, fit anything in there. Um, so you can charge it uh, while it is in here. Uh, but uh, they do not recommend uh, hooking it up to a computer and trying to do any kind of uh, you know file transfers or anything like that. Um, you uh, you can of course take it out of take it, the phone out and charge it by itself as well. Uh, the buttons all line up well and they do seem to work. We can actually power this guy on. There we go. And of course uh, the opening back here for the uh, the fingerprint reader. Uh, and the heart rate sensor, uh, there's plenty of space there, although it is quite cavernous. Uh, it's very, uh, a very deep opening, uh, which is to be expected when you got a, you know, a large battery case like this. Um, but uh, there's certainly no problems uh, getting into the, uh, uh, getting to the fingerprint reader or anything like okay, that. Okay, so we are powered up now, uh, and if you can look here, you can see that it is currently not charging. To do that, you have to actually come back here and push the button. You have to hold it for three seconds as the little sticker on the back indicates. And then you can see it automatically goes right into charging. Go back out. It says uh, 34 minutes until fully charged. So, I do like this case. Uh, surprisingly, uh, I've never been a real big fan of, uh, of battery cases. They just add way too much bulk, uh, and they just don't ever seem to really do much protection. Uh, this one, this one actually does seem to protect pretty well. Um, I, I think it could take some pretty hard hits and, and still survive and still protect your phone. Um, there's plenty of space back here for the fingerprint reader. It may be a little weird to use the first few times, just because of how how deep the the, the opening is. Uh, but uh, I don't see that as a huge problem or something you get uh, that you wouldn't have to get used to. Uh, the openings all line up and everything's there. Some of these actually block off the uh, uh, the headphone jack altogether. Uh, so I, I'm pleasantly surprised to see that uh, still available there. And it really doesn't add as much weight as you would think for a battery case. 
Um, it, it certainly does add weight. It certainly does add bulk, but uh, it, it, it's not as much as you would think. It's definitely a lot lighter than some of the other ones I've looked at for some other phones. So if you're looking for something, I mean, the battery life on the on the S8, at least for me, has been phenomenal. Uh, I, I really don't see myself needing a battery case right now. But if you're uh, going on a trip uh, or you're going to be, I don't know, maybe out on a camping trip or something like that where you don't always have some place to plug in and you want a little extra juice, uh, this is definitely uh, definitely something I would look at. Uh, definitely one uh, you could check out. Uh, probably a little cheaper than some of the, the more premier ones that are out there. Um, but, uh, yeah, this... Uh, this is a nice little nice little battery case if you're looking for something like that. So thanks again here for joining us at uh, HyperDog Digital, and we'll see you next time.